we had this floor replaced. So this is the new, the, the new part of the floor is all right here. So we had to carve away here a little bit just so we can get, uh, get clearance for our bad boy right here to get through. So I'm going to carve away a little bit more right here because mm -hmm. this still gets stuck right around here. So I'm going to cut that out. But what I'm going to need your help with, man, I'm going to put this guy in, right? Nice. And this back nut, down. well, this back nut right here, nah. what happened, it broke through. So we're going to add something new. So when I put this on from underneath, you, you tie, yeah, just tie this bad boy down. Right. Let me carve this out real quick just to make sure I have enough clearance so we can go ahead with that. So I'll pop this guy in here. Now, I think the screw, right there. That's the one we're using in the back, but oh, okay. there was, there it is, this guy right here. This guy goes here. Let me get you the equipment, and we'll bolt it down. And then, we're gonna go underneath and install our new emergency brake. Okay, nice and tight, so now, Just need that. It needs that extra tightness. Okay, cool. That's what we're gonna use. So here's the screw. I'm gonna go underneath. Go ahead. You can tighten that down, bro. And we're gonna drop that guy right in there. Oh, the guy right there, real tight. Yeah, just get it down. I'm gonna go underneath, and uh, when you get that one down, just not too tight. Let's get this one on first, and then we'll uh, we'll tighten it down. Got our emergency cable bracket right here um, we got our emergency cable we just ran one we're doing kind of a test run and uh, I seen kind of how they do it we're gonna go a different route I think it turns and binds too much but any which way at first I said I looked at it I was like oh yeah this is gonna be super easy and I'm measuring it up like over here and I'm looking at it, I'm like yeah I can get at it with a drill I can get at it from here and here and get the screws and then I realized I'm all the way by the trance so when you come back here you know, the tunnel tends to narrow out a little bit more. And this bad boy, all right, give me a minute, bro, hold on. Let me, uh, let me get through. So right now what happened, you know, it's pretty, it's got a big gaping hole right here. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. What the hell? Hold on. Oops. I can live with that. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Oh. One at a time. Hold it right there. I'm holding it. Yeah, let me see if I'm going to get this one up there. Start tying it down, bro. That's it. Right, gotcha. Yep, get it down. Do it that's good. Do it to the point where I can't do it no more, right? Just uh, yeah, just get it there. And that's it. Okay. Cool. Here's our, now this is a brand new emergency brake lever, parking brake lever, and uh, new cables. So our next setup is going to be this bracket. Now before, obviously there's two holes here where the, or, where the original was, you know, or they either had it up here and they took it off, and I don't know why the hell they did that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to figure out a way to see if I can get mine up there. All right. Okay, so you just want me to hold it? Yeah, just kind of hold it in place for me. Right. Like right there. That's uh, it. You can grab the middle. There's, you can see the holes. Like I think right I there. got it. I don't know if I'm on the holes, but I think no, no, I got no. it. That looks pretty good. Oh, let me you're see. good. Okay. Yeah, look, let me see if I can get it in with this guy. Okay. We're trying to do this without removing the drive shaft. Right. Yes, I don't care if you call me lazy. I'm tired of doing this. Oh, <laughs> no, my boy. 
Let me see, hold on. See if I can get it. How uh -oh. you doing, shit? This is fun. Yeah. We're gonna have to, I, I want them to, with some pressure. Line it up and I'll level it right. out for you. Right, oops, hold on. Line it up, I got you. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty tough, man. It's got just a, it's a little too far on the inside. See if I can go to the back one, at least it'll hold the back one in place. Watch your head. Mm -hmm. Watch your face. Mm -hmm. If I can catch this guy. Yes, you can. What you're, what you're cramping down right now is metal screws, right? Yeah. So if, if you if you use metal uh, drill bits, you think it'll be easier for you? No, I'd have to come from the top down. So uh -huh. I would have to either center punch these uh -huh. and then rip at the the console up there, like the the, the sound deadening, and then drill drill down. But then I wouldn't have to. But actually, not, but not even yeah. with a little help of a drill bit. The one, the one that makes holes. Well, I, I can't. I would have to take this off. There it goes. So, yeah, that's good. It's gonna have to come off, bro. Because I mean, you're, you're making the holes. Well, that's the drive shaft and the. See, it walked. Go back, uh, keep the look. Yeah, come back up here. Right. right there, right there, right there. Okay, how far am I from over there from that edge? Oh, it's gotta come back this way. Right there. Yeah, it's gotta come all out. Let me know. Let's go right here. Right there. Okay, that looks I'm on tight. No, this is, uh, this it's this too is much, moving. it's too much of an angle. There's not enough. If I was doing this, there's just too much of an angle on the gun. This isn't gonna work. So that's what started, but yeah, but you see the back end is a uh, back end is oh. further out. See where the front are, and see where the back end are. Yeah, they're further. They're they're expanded out. So yeah, they're almost right there in the same spot. Well, I was just trying to do this without taking off the drive shaft, but it looks like the drive shaft's gonna have to come off in order to do it because I have uh, really no. There's just too much of an angle in order for my drill to work. Uh, I have thread chases here, and even if I wanted to use a drill bit, I'd be too much of an angle. It'd take off the drive shaft. Uh, let me see. I don't think it's any different over there. Oh, yeah. I got a little bit more clearance on this side. Let me go over here on this side.
their last bolt. So unfortunately, we had to suck it up and take off the damn drive shaft. Part one what? failed. Part two next. <laughs> they 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 didn't let me. Uh, they canceled, so they gave me back my other job, and then they canceled the other one. So instead, of, uh, I think they there's a little opening over here that it kind of goes into, mm -hmm. but we don't have that avail availability because we have the uh, you know that rake system from uh, Stifler. Hmm. So that that access port for us is kind of like restricted. So right now I'm, I'm kind of like wondering, should I just, I have it kind of contorted real funny over there. You saw how I had it turned out underneath the, so I'm thinking if I just come up there with some, uh, some clamps, put them up against either the, the frame. Basically what ended up happening here, what we started to do yesterday, you know, well, we started to mess around with the emergency brake cables, which are our Cobra emergency brake cables. We got the emergency brake cable bracket, our uh, parking brake uh, lever is brand new. Uh, one of the things that happened, I think they knocked off one of the retaining nuts to the parking brake lever because we added a new floor to this bad boy. So the floor is new on this guy, so we had to put a new nut on there. Along with that, the trouble was, how do we put the bar parking brake cable uh, bracket up there without removing the drive shaft? Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So take off the drive shaft. Um, for us, it's a little bit more difficult because we have a torque arm bar. And, of course, as you guys know, the torque arm bar doesn't let the... Uh, you know the differential dropped to a certain level it's going to keep it and we basically turned our three box uh you know um ch sub chassis car into a three link sus suspension system so um we're we're working on to get a little bit better we actually had our sway bar yesterday so now that we got our brake cables in we're just kind of looking at what's the easiest way to route these guys without having that much binding i was trying to route them like i had the old ones but that's not going to work we're going to have a lot of twists and turns and so i think i would just keep it real simple come around the outside here we're going to use some uh some plant some some brackets to the uh, control arms we're going to put some brackets on the inside of the frame and straight to the holder and off to connect and we should be done parking brake cable and these are uh GT calipers and it goes just like that and then it goes right in there and we have these uh, we have these C-clips like that guy right there and that guy goes right in there I'm being blinded here, I can't see. Oh, I think it's underneath here. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah. All right. So it's on there, it's just to retain, you see, so it'll hold it there so it doesn't pop out. All right. Now, like I said, I was trying to do all this fancy dancy work so nobody sees how I hit it and be all ninja about it, but I guess that isn't going to work. Again. So. One of the reasons being that we replaced our torque boxes on this thing and we have this stiffler rake set up right here on the sides. We have these ribs, we have the pinch, uh, the pinch weld uh, support right here as well too. So in order for me to finagle this kind of tough cable through it, it's going to be real cumbersome. I'm going to be really fighting it, especially being that since this guy has a self-expanding tip. So... I think I'm going to save myself the fighting and the drama and kind of loosely set it up there, get it put up on the, on the, on its clips and, uh, 
just kind of see how it flows. I don't want to put a lot of bind on this guy because this is our emergency, so it has to keep somewhat of a straight line. And so we're going to go ahead and try and do it this way. Now, for the most part, I always see it like it's right along the control arm. Now, as you guys know that we hate like stuff that looks like crap and you know that it's on there loosely so even though right now I'm gonna just kinda like flop it in here I'm gonna come back and button it up real nice cause I just don't like anything being is what it is so let's go ahead and do that but uh, for right now I already slapped on the one on the passenger side I got this guy on I gotta go put the clip on that other side and I should be good to mount them to our bracket get them put into the little fork that we got up there to the cable and then that's done the next thing we'll have to do is come in and put some brackets on this thing to hold in place now, I got it the first time I just uh, I just didn't wasn't super positive that I was uh, in it alright so this is a retaining C-clip and I'm just uh, you kind of just push these in place. Man. Yeah. No. I think it's Monday or something. How did I do? So as you guys see in on this, there's a little groove right in there. Get this guy in there. There's a little groove right in there. And that's what the C-clip sits into. So some people could do it with their hands and just push it in. Mine are tired. And uh, obviously not working. There they are. There it is. should be all right I was playing around with this side a little bit to see if I could use the same body of the car now this is my my rear brake line it's a stainless steel line that runs up to the back of the different to the top of the differential and then it branches off to my two uh, uh, calipers in the rear all right, let's, so as you saw I had a kind of like a routing party and I was just trying to figure out where am I going to do with this, where am I going to run it to, how am I going to run it, oops, sorry. And so, basically I'm going to try and keep it loose because I need the cable to stay loose so I can, it can react. The drive shaft is a little loose and it gives us a little leeway. So this is kind of how this goes. You guys can see it's groove right there. And again, this is all brand new. We didn't change that out. So it kind of goes that way. And I told you this has a self-expanding front end. That's it. And we're gonna do the same thing to our driver's side. Again, I'm gonna come back in here and bring in some special clamps that I need just so I can hold this bad boy up to the frame and I don't have it dragging or you know it ain't gonna be somewhere too visible where you can see like, oh my god, this guy's emergency brakes hanging there and I entrails or something. So see if we can this is gonna be the fun part some support while I go ahead and In. And we're going to go ahead and clip him in there. Uh oh. Sorry. Let me try this again. Believe it or not, it's a little bit tougher than it looks. And that, my friends, is how you install, is how you install 
your emergency brake cable. And all this will happen because you change your floor pan, right? I mean, you may have basically, oh, see, that's not good. Okay, so this is actually a faulty part. Um, I guess that's a faulty clip because it's broken it's off. Broke off yeah. So as you guys saw, um, right this camera. is right on camera too. Yeah, look. Okay. Wow. <laughs> How this work? How this work? So all I could do is uh, come back and reorder one from LMR and uh, redo this. Cool. Now the reason we went ahead and do this, and you guys saw that we got to install our bracket down here, was we changed the floor pans out to this bad boy, so the holes ain't in place, and this bracket, I'm pretty sure was attached to the original one. So, um, like I said, we did this to the fact that we didn't have it on here, as you guys saw, and they had to replace, they knocked off this back nut back here to the uh, lever. So then now we have to bring in our new bracket, we got our new cables. Uh, the GT cables that were on here originally for, were for drum, so those change up considerably to these guys. And uh, we're just running new, new stuff. What I am going to do, I'm probably just going to take this guy off right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop a C-clip right in here. And I should be okay. Most likely because my hands are huge. Playing games with me. It's uh, it's gonna be a tough little spot. Right in there. All right. There we go. And that's good. It's all the way around. It's holding it in place. It's no looser than the other one, you know, so actually this is a little sturdier. So the only thing that we're going to have to do when we come back a little later, we're going to have to bring our, our screw-on clamps. We're going to come around this way, we we'll screw them down to here, right through here, and drop them off right there, and it's going to go on that way, so it looks pretty good. Only the guys took off the emergency brake stuff, but they left these guys on, they put these back on there. And this is for the old emergency brakes. Now, the cable stops right back here, or should I say, yeah, right back here. Like that spread out clip goes here. And then you get like kind of a bare cable to come through here, feeds in through here, and then it goes into this position. So, as you guys can tell the difference, this is a coated cable all the way through. It has a shielding on the outside, so it wouldn't have fit through here. It wouldn't have fit through there. And so, we have to do the modifications that we're doing right now. Had I known, I would have never put these back on. That's just like another 0.5 pounds of weight. All right. Well, besides the fact that we haven't added our clamps, which we will. Wow, look at that poor 15. Anyways, uh, yeah. Just because we haven't entered our clamps doesn't mean we won't, but we will. And right now, as you guys can see, my emergency brakes, even though they're saggy and hanging here, which is okay, as long as they're up, they're installed. And now, all I have to do is come back down here with some clamps, kind of figure out the routing that I want these bad boys to go through. You know, kind of like something like this maybe, make it look cool, or as cool as you can make this rubber slash metal line look and then come around this side do the same thing 
and we should be okay. We also picked up a couple, uh, uh, we, we got a couple of the clamps that are like kind of coated or uh, insulated clamps for these guys to give it a little bit more uh, firm grip. So that's what we're going to go ahead and install the same way with the thread changer screws that we used up here. That way we're just going to go into the frame or to the side of the floor and then clean it up as we go upstairs. So, as of right now, we can consider the Zad Boy done. Well, we were telling you guys that we grinded down the floor just a little bit because it was hitting the back end of this guy. It wasn't letting it sit flush, but now it's perfect. Perfect. I had to go in there with our die grinder and then had to shave off a little bit of our new floor pan that kind of came around the hole just to give this the clearance that we need right now. So that's in there perfectly. We got our new cable with our hooks, uh, with our holder for our our, uh, our emergency brake cables. And then we're going to come in here with our grinder and we're going to grind off these guys right here. Now these are the screws that hold the, uh, the bracket in place and even though that, even though like it may be that our our, bra our our console may take over and cover this. I don't care. I don't like this. So we're just going to grind these down and put a little filler on them just so we don't get any rust in later. That's it. So basically what I did, guys, you see this pin right here? Now I just pulled it out. Uh, on the lever right back here, there's a little hole. All right. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you what this guy does to this on the old one that we removed from Reckless. So you see that cavity right there? That's where this guy will shoot right through here and catch that right there. A little bit more. Boom. Oops. There you go. And as you can see guys, that's what it does. Now the reason this comes like this is because you don't want to uncoil the spring right here. So it sits like that. So when you get the lever, you're going to install everything. This guy right here should be the last thing you pull. Because once you pull it, it's going to uncoil it. Now as you can see right here, where this, uh, this is, it, this is how you get it when you, when you buy it. So you're able to do this to it. Have it ready. Run your cable underneath and get it set up. Once you're done, you pull the pin and what it'll do, it'll taut the line. It'll bring whatever slack back to the top. And what I'll do, I'll pull it so you guys know what I'm talking about. Pull it. See what I mean? See how this is yeah. taut now? If I let this go more and more and more and more, it'll keep to unspin. Well, to a point. But that's what that does. It keeps its tautness so you don't have to lose that resistance. So now, when I go to pull it, I don't have a whole bunch of slack. I have instant pull. And that's what's gonna happen. And see what I did right here? I just got it caught up. Now what's gonna happen here this is kind of the adjustment. So when this guy gets, as you can see, it's about to start to walk into the second clip right here. What it's gonna do, it's gonna give this line more of a taut feeling and it's gonna catch up on my brakes. It's gonna keep my pads close to my rotor. So if I ever need this, bam, you go up and it holds them in position. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now because my rotors right now, they're, even though they're in, they're not completely in position. So uh, I gotta do, I still gotta add a couple things back there. I gotta add some clamps, and I don't wanna go ahead and pull this without the clamps on the emergency cables not being installed. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, go, a good test run. As I go to uh, push my emergency brake up, you see the whole thing is about to spin. And now my cable is, about, is being pulled, which in turn engages my emergency brakes. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and go all the way up there. I got one click in it right now, and I'm gonna leave it like that, because like I said, I don't wanna engage it with my cables being all flappy and loose around there like that at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and set them up, and then do this. So, now she comes. And as you see, now look at it. You see what it did? On the caliper, 
it has set my pads close to the rotor. So every time as your pads go down and you engage your emergency brake, it kind of adjusts the pads and your caliper and you go down, you go down, you go down. So the further you go down means the more you use your pads. And uh, that's what happens here. So as you can tell, what it's going to end up happening, the more I stretch it, the more I stretch it, the more I crank on it, what it's going to do, it's going to catch up all, it's going to catch up the slack in the pad close to my rotor. And this will come up so it's always at the ready. So if you ever need to use this bad boy, we can stop it. Especially if we're doing naturally aspirated 500 pounds to the tire. Or 500 horsepower, horsepower to the tire, not pounds. I want to shout out to my boy Marco here. He gave me a hand doing this. It's pretty cold in here. Now we're in uh, December. This is December 3rd, I think. One of these days. I think it's 1999, um, sure, according to Sir Biden. And, uh, you know, we, he just gave me a hand here just uh, with our emergency brakes, as you guys saw. Hey, I want to uh, send a quick shout out. Guys, go out there to our, our Facebook uh, page, MCSE Green Wheels on Facebook. If you guys are looking for a Fox body, we post them about just about every day from free to not free and buyer beware and the next thing that's not our cars we're just helping the community get bigger I want to thank everybody on our instagram page mcsc green wheels instagram guys marco Saul, green wheels go to their instagram page give us a couple likes shoot us a couple comments i'll try to post most i'll try to post most pictures most importantly I want to thank everybody on our youtube channel guys thank you for all the comments remember we try to keep this positive uh if you guys got something to say that i did wrong or you know just want to tell me that i need to more do a little bit more blush i will and uh you know we just keep it going keep dropping the likes and most importantly while you're just sitting there go ahead right to the bottom and subscribe brother we see you for the next time let's get these guys done